Hello, this is Hope Roski with Weddings and Celebrations. Well, today I have really a treat for you. I'm going to be talking with Katie Dahlman. Katie, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you so much, Hope. Yes, it's so great to have you here. And we're going to talk today about one of my favorite things, which is chocolate. I know, I, I mean, I shouldn't admit to it, but you have an amazing company that you basically started out of your home. And I'd love for you to tell the viewers about it because you really are taking something, creations, and making absolutely magnificently design and delectably tasting chocolate. So can you tell the viewers about that, please? Absolutely. So the chocolate that I make is made from bean to bar. What I do is I take I take the cocoa beans and I turn it into chocolate. Uh, all those cocoa beans, uh, they they come from a variety of regions from around the world. Uh, have some cocoa beans from Madagascar. They might have some more tropical fruity flavors. And then there are some cocoa beans that are from Ecuador where they have kind of that cherry, warm, rich cedar and very fudge forward. Uh, all these different cocoa beans, I like to highlight uh, their natural flavors and pair them with different fillings that really complement those flavors. I started this when I was wondering to myself, I love cooking, I love baking, I love doing all those things. And I was wondering how I could make my desserts stand out when just in my regular baking and my regular dessert making. So I decided to try and make chocolate from scratch uh, a few years ago and it turned into this accidental passion for confectionery. And I've just been tinkering with the recipes over the years and decided uh, one day, because this is something that's been in the back of my mind to start my own business, but it's something that had just never come to fruition, but life's too short. So I figured I will just start a business out of it. And it's, it's been really fun. I think that's so wonderful. And what's great about you know cho your chocolates is that you will ship anywhere. Can you tell the viewers about the shipping process? Because I think people who are concerned about various types of weather would be concerned, well, will the chocolates get here, um, like not melted and things, but you have a special way of handling that. Absolutely. Uh, I've received a number of people who have been interested in having chocolates shipped to them because currently I'm based out of Columbia, Missouri, uh, which is very centrally located, which is really nice for shipping. Uh, so I will ship in the United States and the way that I ship is I take insulated containers, I bubble wrap the chocolate to make sure that they stay safe, they don't jostle around in their boxes, uh, make sure it's all nicely packaged so that nothing breaks. Uh, there's packing paper involved really to reduce uh, any bumps along the trip. But I also put in, in, uh, in these insulated containers some ice packs. And these ice packs are used to keep it cool throughout the journey. And I also ship two-day shipping that way it gets to you as soon as it possibly can within a reasonable time. Uh, now with shipping carriers, of course, there can be some delays along the way, uh, but I have received confirmation from a number of people that even if it's been four days, it has still stayed safe. Uh, I do have a review on Google that really verifies just that, where it stayed perfectly fine in the box. Uh, that's, that's wonderful. One of the other things I wanted to touch on too, as you're working with um, a bride or groom and they're talking about their party favors or their, you know, maybe they want to do desserts, you actually can customize for the bride and groom. Can you discuss that with the viewers a little bit too? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first, the first part of the process, if you're looking to order some chocolate as like your wedding favors, for example, I do have a website on conchchocolate.com. Uh, under the custom orders tab, that's where you start the process and filling out the form. This is just to give you some basic information about your day, what you want that to look like, what you're looking for in your chocolates, any specific themes that you're looking for, things like that. A great example is I actually did some chocolates uh, for a wedding that took place on an alpaca farm in Vermont. Uh -huh. uh, so these chocolates, they were shipped to Vermont and they were all, all 300 of them were in the shape of alpacas. Isn't that amazing? That is absolutely creative. Well, one of the things I would love for the viewers to see is the video that was created. Um, you said you had one of your friends uh, 
film you as you were doing this because it really is quite the process in doing it. It's, it's, it has to go from the bean to the chocolate. And maybe you could just, as we're watching the video, walk us through the process. Yeah, of course. And they're going to see it live. And if you can just mm -hmm. go ahead and explain what, um, I know you're chopping a bit and moving the, tell us a little bit about what you have to do here and how long that takes. Yeah, so basically, bean of our chocolate making is a seven step process. It starts with roasting the beans and goes all the way to the tempering and molding part of the process. Uh, through that process, uh, it's part of like the tempering on a marble slab, for example. This is where you are spreading the chocolate across marble and you are really restructuring the cocoa butter inside the chocolate so that it's sleek shiny, glossy, it has that perfect snap when you snap the bar. Uh, it gives you that satisfaction of chocolate. And it also just doesn't melt at your fingertips and everything. Uh, it's really quite a mesmerizing process when you're tempering on marble. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm highly impressed as I'm watching the video. And, and I just know that you put your heart and your soul into this. One of the things as people are looking at moving forward with a dessert or people have allergies to nuts, their gluten issues, how do you address that? The very, one of the very first questions that I ask uh, with submitting the form uh, for a custom order is, is if there are dietary restrictions or allergies that I should be aware of. Uh, I do take it very seriously when it comes to people's dietary needs. Uh, I've done uh, nut-free chocolates. I actually just recently shipped off some chocolates for a wedding for uh, nut-free chocolates because there was an allergy. Uh, I have done sugar-substituted uh, sugar chocolates before. So I can accommodate those needs. My dark chocolate, by its very nature, is vegan. It contains the cocoa nibs, the cocoa butter, and the sugar, and that's it. There is nothing else added to it or anything. Everything with all my chocolate, whether it's dark chocolate, milk chocolate, or white chocolate, is all very cocoa forward because I do want to highlight the natural flavors of that cocoa. It is the primary ingredient in all my chocolate. Well, I tell you what, Katie, I think the next thing you need to do is write a book because I am very impressed what you have to offer. And to our viewers, if you are planning your special day, please take time to reach out to Katie Dolman. Katie, can you give them the address to where they could reach out to you um, through your uh, email and also uh, a website that they could go to if they want to look at more? Yeah, absolutely. My website is conchchocolate.com. Uh, conch, C-O-N-C-H, chocolate.com. And my email is hello at conchchocolate.com. There you go. So I just think, Katie, you have an amazingly wonderful business. I'm so glad that you kind of, into a way, stumbled upon this because I think you're going to bring something really spectacular to individual, you know, the individual couples to their wedding day. And um, that the fact that you ship anywhere and it's going to get there in one piece, it's not going to melt. I think it's, uh, it's wonderful. So I really appreciate you being on the show. Well, thank you so much. It was great being on the show, and I really appreciate you having me. All right. Katie, you take care, and um, stay cool. You <laughs> Summer is creeping so just much. around the corner. All righty. This is Hope Roski with Weddings and Celebrations.